We're here at Bar 145, not only a popular late night spot on Monroe Street, but also a great place for lunch and dinner food. And the man behind the great menu here, Chef Cody Myers. Cody, first of all, thanks for having us out today. Absolutely. Uh, tell us a little bit about Bar 145, when you started out, when you started cooking here. Um, I've been here, I started about two weeks after we opened. Um, I took over here as the sous chef originally, mm -hmm. um, underneath Chef Robbie, and then um, after he left, I took over as the head chef here and been doing it ever since. What's cool about us is, you know, after 10 o'clock, you know, we have live bands going all night. So it turns in from, you know, that really nice restaurant atmosphere right into the nightlife, the night scene, and like almost like, you know, a typical nightclub, if you will, at the end of the night. In 2015, Bar 145 expanded into the space next door with Reset, Toledo's first adult arcade. Reset's done very, very well. It also gives, you know, and people an opportunity to do something different here. Yeah. You know, if they're not here for the band, you know, or, you know, the loud music per se, you know, it gives them a chance to go over and, you know, play some video games, have some beers, as well as enjoy some craft beers. Um, we also have our self-serving draft hall, which is really cool. <laughs> um, so, you I mean, you can basically just put money on a card and select your beer, pay by the ounce. Self-serving draft hall, hmm. might have to check that out yeah. a little. The Gastropub is known for its gourmet burgers, which patrons can order off the menu or build themselves. And Myers always collaborates with his crew on the newest food items. You know, we're very, very open to creative ideas. We like to be a creative kitchen. Um, you know, with one person just creating all the ideas, you know, it tends to be the same thing over and yeah. over again. Whereas where you get a lot of different opinions from other people, it tends to be more creative and, you know, better experience for everybody as well. Outside of the restaurant, the Bar 145 team puts their creative culinary skills to the test year after year at Zoo To Do. Uh, we became involved in the Zoo To Do about three years ago. It goes to a great cause. It's a fun event to do. Obviously, you're going to have food. Yep. Uh, what are you making for that event? Uh, we are doing a braised pork belly taco, uh, which consists of obviously braised pork belly. Um, it's our gold barbecue sauce with our house made coleslaw. What goes into uh, coming up with uh, a menu item or, or an item for an event like this? Is this something special that you won't get here? Uh, most of the events we try to do something at least, you know, somewhat close to a menu or sometimes we'll bring something that we're looking to put on a future menu. Um, but this one is actually on our menu. We're just kind of promote a little bit. We actually have a section on our menu called uh, Street Meats. Cool thing about our beef, it's actually beef cheek, braised beef cheek. Um, which is really cool. It's the same process as, you know, making a barbacola. We just simplify it and it's just braised down and cook the season very well. Mm. You're speaking my language here. My mouth's starting to water, so you want to hop in the kitchen and... All right, we'll try this out. Let's go make some food. To get our tacos going, Chef Cody gets started with a couple of flour tortillas on the grill. Just a little brown or...? We're just to get enough to get a nice little grill marks. Um, pliable okay. just to, you know, where they're nice and soft. This is a spot where you got to watch yourself because you'll burn your hand really, really quick. No spatula ever? Do you just go hands in? I go hands in. All right, I like it's it. It's the easiest way to go. <laughs> nice and step over. Grab some nice hot pork belly here. I'd imagine this is kind of a, a process to get it from where you had it to, to right here. It is. Uh, this is actually about a two to three hour process. So we start with whole pork bellies and we braise them down in the oven for about two and a half, three hours. Um, and then it all gets pulled fresh right out of the oven and stays hot. We also have a uh, pork belly burger, um, which is an onion roll burger, uh, pork belly, beef patty, um, coleslaw, gold barbecue, and uh, house-made onion straws as well. So you get it all shredded up, and it, it lasts you a couple days then, it's pretty versatile meat in the kitchen. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so, you know, typically we do this about every other day. Okay. Um, you know, we still maintain the freshness, but it does hold um, because of the fat content from the belly. Um, it tends to hold a lot better than most other meats that aren't as fatty. Is this only on the dinner menu? Um, you can get these for lunch and dinner. Pretty popular item. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. What made you pick this one for the zoo? Um, zoo to do is, you know, it's a fun event, but it's also a tough event. You know, you'll have lines of, you know, 100 people waiting to get served and stuff like that. So, you know, we want to do something really delicious that people yeah. will love, but at the same time, it's very executable. Okay. So we can just keep everything hot and fresh and just serve it as we go. And what's the next step? What do we got to do? Next step, we got our house-made gold barbecue. The gold barbecue, obviously not the traditional color you think of a barbecue It, it sauce. is not. So what's different with this is typically everybody thinks of their tomato-based sauce. Um, this is a mustard-based barbecue sauce, yeah. so it's a little bit tangier than most. So next, we're going to slide over here. We got our house-made coleslaw. 
This one has a pinkish hue. What's in that one? That is uh, the purple cabbage that is uh, in the actual coleslaw. Um, so when it's mixed with, you know, obviously the mayo and the vinegar, it creates that pinkish tone to it. Well, let's give them a shot. All right, you going to try oh, this with me? Yeah. All right, let's do this. Pork belly tacos here at Bar 145. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bonus points for getting messy. This mm -hmm. is how you know it's good. Absolutely. And I meant to get just to taste this barbecue sauce. So. Yep. That is great. So it's tangy. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything mixes together so nice. Only a few ingredients, but it's so good. Yep. And this is something that you can get here at Bar 145 and also at Zoo to Do on June 16th. Chef Cody. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Let's finish these bad boys. All right.